crabs, especially they all drop right back down. Oh, we're not far. Oh, Tommy said this is what I come out to. I'm using the turlet. Oh boy. Cutting. Another jack. What model is this jack? What model is this one? I got to say, you don't know jack, but. Yeah. I don't know what model that is, but it's junk. Only a year old. A year old, man. That's not the one that came from Seapro. That's why I put on, what, a year ago? This is supposed to be ga uh, galvanized or yeah, zinc and look at that. A yeah. year. Listen, that's Raritan Bay. Woo! That's Raritan Bay Jersey water right yeah. there. Yeah. It can't be bad. It's just got <laughs> right. duty on it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the one we replaced, I think is still sitting in my bed. I think it is still sitting in there somewhere in all that junk. Somewhere. Yeah. So I've got all these tools just to keep this thing. Alright, where did these go? Rolling. I wonder how many pounds are in there. Oh. It's on the clapper. You gotta clap and it'll stop. Get out of here. <laughs> See, I, got, I do gotta brag on my boys a little bit here. I take them for granted sometimes. Don't have to say nothing. I just come out. This guy's putting the rods in the boat, checking the air pressure, working on the lights, taking the jack off. Mike's got the grinder, cutting the old jack <laughs> off. The old jack off. You name it. <laughs> and uh, Tommy was putting what, air in this tire and He's just generally going around being cranky, but he's, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there he is, putting air in the tires. Making sure everything works, or at least most of it works. Gotta have a good crew, man. Very valuable, very hard to find. Oh uh, man, it feels good to be out here. Thank God. Came out running and uh, saw some bait and immediately dropped off the plane. We're gonna look around a little bit. It looks fishy. Fishing? Not yet, not yet. Okay. Uh, Get me excited. Yeah, I know. John's already in the I'm water. Right, right, right. <laughs> I apologize. John's already right, in the water. That's all right. Okay. Okay. I'll never fault someone for swinging for the fence. Oh, oh what do you hit? Accident. The Walmart page. On top? Yes, sir. What do you hit? He said accident? Yes. Yeah. I didn't mean to. I hit him on I caught him on an accident. Because <laughs> I are. Huh? Well let's see if they'll hit the the uh oh, ghost popper. Oh man, look at him behind us. They're blowing the bait up out of the water. Dude, this thing casts <laughs> to another county. Barely flip it and she going, ooh, sounds good. You got the brand new 2.0, man. That's the black and blue 2.0. That's the brand new one. Got the weighted butt. This guy, ain't so bad. Nah, he, he seems like he's got some, uh, Huspa. They're blowing up behind us. You can see what just happened behind your bait, right? No. You chasing it? <laughs> oh. The whole thing is filled with rods. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that stripe right behind it. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, my God. A bluefish? No. A bluefish and a striper, and about 50. Guys, I just brought about 100 stripers to the boat. Look at this. Uh, Dude, they all followed this popper right to the boat. You're probably seeing them on the screen right now. Oh man, that was cool. They weren't very big. They're probably about eight pounds or so. But there was a bluefish in the front, <laughs> in front of the pack. That shows you how clear the water is because I could see them probably five or eight feet down. Might have to use the uh, smaller popper. Yeah. I thought I was gonna snag a bait. I knew it too. So that's what they're eating. Peanut yeah. bunker, Mike. Peanut bunker, yeah, there you go. All right, so that's why they're not hitting the big baits, those little peanut bunkers. So I'm gonna put the smaller popper on. Mike, 
John, swing that up here. So he just caught one on the on the Walmart plug. Hmm. Close enough, right? It's close enough for rock and roll right yeah. there. Yeah, I don't think they measure. <laughs> but they do. Look at the birds right behind us. <laughs> on that little damn bait. It's so funny, man. We come out here, there's boats everywhere, bait everywhere, stripers busting. We stopped on those stripers that were busting, hitting poppers, casting, whacking them in the head. They won't touch it. Uh, Torres talked one into biting, but uh, man, with that many fish around, you think we'd be lighting them up, right? Well, the bait was too small. Uh, there were a lot of small fish on that bait, and uh, we're using big baits, and they look nothing like the baits that they're chasing, and they don't want it. So we downsized our baits a little bit, picked off one or two, but that's not what we're looking for. So we left that bait, found a couple other schools of small bait. Finally found the adult bait, found the big uh, 9, 10, 12 inch baits. Look at their bait finder over there. Yeah. And uh, that's where these uh, nicer fish are on, they're on these big baits. So when you see those... Thank you! Thank you! Thank you. It's good stuff. Good stuff. It's like being a movie star, basically, you know? Yeah, just a couple right now. Behind. It's tough, you know. It's tough being a celebrity, right, Tommy? Yeah, Yeah, so Nichols, they do this all the time. They'll send us boxes of our uh, signature colors and even some of the other colors we like, like the gold and silver. And they just send us boxes just to give away. So when you guys see us out on the water, we've been doing it for a couple of years now. You see us, come up and say hi. And Nichols wants you to have a few spoons to try out. Oh my goodness. Reel them in guys, I gotta go to that. I just it's saw- It's a snodgel, it's a snodgel. I just saw this striper thrash. Oh, look at them all. They're big. Oh, let's go. Oh, yeah. Starboard side on side scan. Pushing the baits up. I'm going to put these boys right on it. I'm going to sick my boys on it. All right, so you guys are coming out here with your flutter spoons. You've got to find adult bait. You're marking small bait and you're not hooking up. Try downsizing. You're still not hooking up. Get out of there. Look for the big bait. Lots of big bait present, so we just gotta find that big bait and stay on it. Jiggers can be on the starboard side here. Starboard? Yep. Tide's still coming in, and you're gonna you see work, some work. bait flash right here. Shh. It's tough to leave fish oh, to find good, fish, but we're good, Paul. Starboard side. Lots and lots of fish. Big shadows. The spoon should do it. I think the biggest fish are gonna come on spoons. Yeah. Those are stripers there, guys. That is bait. See the difference, how different they look? So you have a big, lots of them down there, lots of them. It's gonna light up right here. Jeez, left side, port side. Those are striped bass inside the bait. Look at that. It's a great shot, isn't it? Striper's right inside the bait. Take the two tours gold spoon. Are you okay? Accident. Yeah. Fish on, Skip. Come on back. Don't, Don't thumb this pool. Don't thumb this pool. Don't thumb this pool. That's right. I always think this pool until I fight fish. Right back to the Tommy wants a poach one. <laughs> yeah, it's a noodle, baby. <laughs> it's a slow pitch noodle. Oh. Whoa!
Whoa, bro. That's a 40 pound fish. Yes, it is. Let's get off my Suzuki. Off my Suzuki. He's got a good one. He's got a good one. Those spoons, man. Thumb that's full. You know, we want to chase these birds. I do it all the time. It's so hard to see those birds and leave them alone, but that's where these bigger fish are, you know? Head shaker. Oh, he's huge. You know he's so big we can't keep it. I know it. I know it. Now we're seeing later. We got everything on camera. Don't worry about it. Dude. <laughs> Dude, that's definitely 40. Bro. Uh, I'm gonna say 45. Dude, uh, that's gonna I be. I think you're right. I think get, that's John. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trembling. What did you catch there, dude? Stud, stud. That COPD is killing me. Whatever you do, we don't want to we don't want to let her go. Don't. That is a fish right there, by the way. Forty three? Forty three pounds, yep. Yeah. Forty three on what? The gold? Gold, yes. Yeah. We got And who was it caught by? The two time That's Vietnam right. vet. That's right. John. Johnny Two Tours. Johnny Two Tours. So we're gonna give her a few minutes. Like the acid. Nice! Oh, there she goes, huh? Our problem before was we were just marking the peanut bunker. Right. And they had all the small bait on them, all small fish. If you look here, you see the big texture in there? Those are adult bunker, that's what we want. It's adult bait, see that? Big bait. Before we were just getting the, the haze, you know, the real fine haze, and that was all little bait. Here's where we hooked up, and we're marking them already. Right back on them, and they're big marks again. Rich Colson. Special. You can't catch a 43 pound fish on a medium light jigging rod. Who can't? <laughs> Little tiny crab, especially on top, right back now. Yeah. That's like all the fish are. Oh, we're not far. Oh, Tommy's a oh. Stud. oh my god. Wow. <laughs> it's a stud. You know, I am a stud. This is a big fish. You know, a lot of people asked, and I'm going to answer this right now. You see how Tommy holds the, the rod below the reel? Don't you try that. Him and Mike, Big Mike, have the most insanely oh, strong. Oh, oh. Wow. Oh. They have crazy strong wrists and hands. He's coming right if at you me. or I tried it, it would just kill He's your wrist. Right You'd have to hold it by the reel, but he prefers it that way. He doesn't he doesn't like to support the reel. So the rod below the reel. Don't you try that. Him and Mike. He might have the most insane strong. Oh, oh. Wow. Stay away from that motor. Come on. Oh, right over, right over. Boy. Good move. Good move. Skip. Okay, let me get her back in the water. And <laughs> Holy cow. Man, thank you, girl. 41 pound spoonfish on light tackle. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. 
Fish on Again, guys, I'm just bumping her in and out of gear. I mean, you see the size of that's two of them out today. Two of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hooking that fish just 20 feet below you, 18 feet below you with a flutter yeah, spoon. That's cool. Light hold. tackle. Yes. Yeah, you called it. Cool. Yeah. That's yep. Sweet. That's a sweet looking fish. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, no, I'll get it. There's a bunch swimming with it. There's, man, that's a 20 pound fish with about 50 other fish bigger than it swimming around it. Yeah. I come right up here next to it. Look at that. Maybe 18 pounds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's ripping her. Yeah, boy. It's hovering around around 20, but there was a bunch behind it. Yeah. See, see them all? Yep. Yeah, I love a spinning reel. I grew up on spinning rods in the local brook. Mm -hmm. Walking them after storm. Dude, there's some big fish around this one. I hope you can see it. Hey, you know what? All those all those brooks and rivers that we walked will all lead right here. Yeah. Don't get hooked in the eyes. Yeah, that's, I think it's 20, right? Yeah. Oh, man. It's here. Tommy's, this is when you gotta stay frosty, guys, because he knows when someone's hooked up, don't play around. Get a line down with these spoons. It's so important. That's another one in the boat. Yeah, that's a, What's that, seven for the day now? Yeah, that's probably, that's upper teens for sure. Nice. There we go. Good job, bro. Going back in. Good job. Send her back. Send her back. Good fight. Way to go, little brother. You know that they're gonna bite it when it's going down. Yeah, so you're it. doing a long sweep with it? Long yeah. sweep on her, yep. That's how I got to Yep. Long sweep in it. It's just a longer opportunity for them to look at it and take it. You know? It's that much more tempting. And it also uh, vibrates when you do that because when, you, when you're able to pull it like seven or eight feet, it goes ba 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 and drops. And ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, yeah, stacked up thick. Doing it again. Very thick. Very thick. I think I got him. Huh? He he thinks he's big. Man, they're just thrashing in there. Yeah, yeah. Might be a sandwich. You had no clue. Good your job. Whole, Good your job. whole crew. Good. There's a passion fruit one, so that's okay. Those are stuff. Yeah. Sorry. Excuse so, me. what do you feel for when you're hooking up on these stores? How do you know you got a strike? I, you know, sometimes the line just stops, and that's when it's starting to pick up some slack. But most of the time, they hit it so hard, you, you know, and then they get mad at you like that and splash you. <laughs> to the face. Oh, to the face, to the ears, but I'm good with it. <laughs> I'm ready to get hit. Fifteen feet to the bottom, very thick. See how close the spoon matches that. That's why they work, right? They look very similar. Yeah, he's hooked up. He's hooked up. Another one. Oh, it's coming. Stud? Yeah, this should go. Oh, yeah, it's double. Oh, I told you. It's double. I told you. Doubled up, doubled up, doubled up. Doubled up. We're doubled doubled up, up baby. Gum. Chew your gum. <laughs> I'm gonna FaceTime Tim. She's a ripper. <laughs> I'm gonna FaceTime Tim, should I? Yes! Come on! Yes! <laughs> yes! Tom, Tom, you're wrapped around your tip, Tom. Yeah, tip's wrapped around. I'm gonna FaceTime Tim. Hey, she's a ripper! Come on, Johnny. <sighs> Notorious slob Aurorius here, hung All up right. twice. It was an ugly double. <laughs> <laughs> You can't let that. Oh no. That happened on that before you. Jaw hooked. He's so good. That would have been nice. That's a stud too. Yeah, bud. Good Somebody pull there. up. Somebody pull up the uh ticket 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 tours. There we go. Nice. Nice job. Good job, man. Oh Mike! Oh jeez, Michael.
Wow, that was a fast fish. I'm, t I'm trying to ride this guy here. Of course. So many fish around. Lots of bass in this, in this mess, guys. Peanut bunker was at a four incher, four inch bait. Now we saw this size bait. Uh, we caught a couple little small ones, but we had to work hard to catch small ones. The birds are eating them, you know, they're blowing up, and you see them splashing and jumping, and you stop and you want to fish, catch them, and it's fun. But man, we just had to leave that because we wanted something bigger, you know. Went and we didn't find giant schools of big adult men hating we found like a mix right john yes so we pulled up and i said oh those are small too and he goes no there's bigger ones in there and we got up over and looked down and sure as hell there were big ones mixed in there that's where we stayed and that's where we started to catch our biggest fish of the day and going way back if you've seen some earlier videos some of you some there's of our, big waltons down there big waltons yes some of you uh super hardcore guys that have been with us for a long time you know it's not just finding the bait we want to find the right bait you know find bait oh i saw it oh, i saw it he dude. hit just as you started to drop the rod tip he bit he hit that spoon crushed it like a um, i love you double always off double, double. always off Mike, i see on, it Tommy. i see it come on Tommy. you got this you got this <laughs> don't tangle him up now guys i know i can't see where we're at get Sorry. away from him yeah Now it's okay to thumb the spool. Yeah, right. See, the reason now is you gotta keep it away from me. Can you go yeah, around? We're tangulating. Again, you two. It's like, it's like, it's like three times. Yeah, he ain't ready, Tommy. Are you wrapped in together I still? No, no, we're okay. clear. We're clear. Don't I don't think again. he's ready, Tommy. Let me see what he looks like. Oh, oh right. See the sun's ripping. I hear him. Oh, oh my. Thank you, Skip. Thank you, Ooh, Tommy. Nice. Thank you, everyone. Just to Hurting. Yeah, that's one ain't that big. She's just a fighter. Walk it up, walk it on. Yep. <laughs> walk it up. Oh, walk God. her down, walk her down. My greatest fear, right? Ready in, please? Right? Stand up. Jump up next to him. Okay. Can you yeah, jump up there? There won't be no jumping. You can go. Oh. 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 A quick double. Nice. Hey, uh, Mike. Measure. Load him with water. Look at that one. <laughs> tail walk. He's that one skipping out of the water. Dude, that <laughs> was like a mud skipper. <laughs> that, that was the equivalent of someone giving you the bird on the hey, way out. Hey, tail walk. He <laughs> tail walked his ass back up. I don't need no revising. Oh, oh how cute. Oh, took a baby. Oh, I thought you hooked up. <laughs> ah, it's a baby. He's awful green. I think, I think. Those white rods, man, right? Pull them right in. Three pounds of drag, and you just you pull them right in. <laughs> when I first saw the, these rods, I thought to myself, we're outclassed, but not by any means. Not by any oh, John, means. You know, you forget to bring your arms out. When we were kids, we used to sit in cane poles. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Remember? And the pocket fisher, we could drive around. <laughs> I wanted to put no, it. No, I got it with me. I know. You said you were going to use it. Yeah. Before. I'm going to wait. Good job. I will use that pocket fisherman. Yeah, we will use it. It will happen. And it will with, be with the 45 year old line on. <laughs> I guarantee. I got me a crew. Come on. That was I got me a crew. Oh, man. I'm fucking trembling. It was goofy. It was silly. I'm but that's what makes it cool, right? Good job, my brother. Get out here next silly. I don't care. I'm excited when we hook a fish. Everyone gets something different out of fishing. For me, it's the people you're fishing with, you know? 100%. Some people like solitude. Not me. I like seeing guys screaming and acting goofy. I think that calls for a cold one. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Sweaty. Just watch you yeah. catch a fish. Wow. Let me go back to exactly where Don't thumb the spool. Are. Don't thumb the spool. Don't, don't thumb the spool. Don't thumb the spool. 
Don't film this pool. Don't film this pool. Don't film this pool. Don't film this pool. I'm not using none of them sputter flumes, all that fancy stuff.